Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the Microsoft Flight Simulator benchmark for the 1650v2 Xeon chip. I, I just wanted to make its own video because it took God forever to get Flight Sim installed. We're here at 1080p, high detail, and even ultra on some settings. Some settings are set to medium, so it's kind of a combination, but mostly high and ultra. We I benchmarked three areas with this processor. So I went from New York City, I did Los Angeles, and I also did uh, Oklahoma City, which is my metro area. The reason I did those three is they kind of give a gauge on the range of performance to expect from the sim. Uh, Los Angeles being the most intense, New York City being kind of somewhat intense, but not the worst, and then Oklahoma City being really light, not very populated. And... Uh, you see here we're flying in. I also did the TBM 930 because I wanted to make sure we had a glass cockpit as that affects FPS a little bit compared to an analog gauge. And I thought the TBM 930 would be a pretty good, just plain to benchmark in general. Fairly intensive. So, um, as you can see here, we're getting pretty good FPS right now up in the sky. And for this run, we got a 45 average FPS. We got 73 as the max, and we got 26 as our 1% lows by the end of it. But uh, I'll just go ahead and shut up here uh, and let the rest of this run go, and then we'll talk once we go over to Los Angeles. I'm stuck in the building. Um, before we go ahead and swatch over to uh, switch over to Los Angeles, I just want to make a note. I did have to record this on the system that we were benching via the NVENC encoder uh, on that 2070 Super. So we lost about five frames in the worst scenario in our 1% lows and average. All right, here is Los Angeles. And it's doing a lot better than I thought. Like, seriously. So, for Los Angeles, we actually got... Let me see here. 
we actually got an average of 39 FPS and our maximum was 57 and our 1% lows were 24. That is pretty damn good. I mean, this is one of the most, if not the most intensive areas to fly in in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is not an easy area to run. I mean, I was expecting 1% lows to maybe be like 15 or something like that. But this is this is a really good performance. And again, I also wanted to benchmark a TBM 930 just because it has a glass cockpit, which is a little more intensive than the analog steam gauge cockpits are as well to run. And for this, I stay majority inside the cockpit, just focus on landing at Los Angeles International. And Los Angeles International is also not an easy airport to run. It's, it's very demanding. It's actually more demanding than just flying around the LA area. So it's, uh, it's a very good airport to test for how demanding um, this area can be and how, how what worst case scenario performance you're going to get out of this. Again, this is a $35 processor. Like this is this is insane. If you told me, hey, there's a processor on the market right now that can run Microsoft Flight Simulator at, at a th above 30 FPS average most of the time for 35 bucks, I would have laughed at you. Like this is this is insane performance. I'm I'm quite surprised how good this is. Now my landings are going to be terrible. Again, I'm using a controller, so I don't have the joystick and uh, throttle quadrant I normally would. Right, nice, nice. Yeah, and that's uh, that's one reason I like to run. I like to land on the actual air on the airfield here at Los Angeles because it's it's very 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 demanding to run. Um, this airfield is not kind to processors. I run a 10850K. Ask me how I know, because <laughs> I've been here on a 10850K. Um, this is a very demanding area. All right, here we are at Oklahoma City area, metropolitan area, and this is kind of the best case scenario. Again, we lost about five frames or so because I had to record on the machine in the worst case. In the best case, we only lost about two or three. And... Uh, this is going to be where you're going to get the 60 FPS uh, margins more so than anywhere else. Um, at 50s and 60s are, are in areas like these where you're going to not have that much loaded, having to render a lot of buildings and traffic and things like that. This is going to be more... Um, this is going to be geared towards 50, 60 FPS performance. And as you can see here, it's doing quite well. We actually made our maximum was 89 FPS. Our average was 56 and our 1% lows were actually 32. So we we're above 30 FPS on the 1% lows. That's really important. And um, yeah, this is a really easy area. This is Sundance. Uh, airfield, so just a nice little airport to land at uncontrolled. It has a full ILS and RNAV approach that you can load up on here if you want to, but just doing a basic glide in approach here. And uh, again, I'm on I'm on an Xbox controller, so my landing is going to suck. see here getting into the 40s a little bit a couple spikes
All right, that's pretty much it. And again, I'm, I'm impressed with the level of performance this offers. If you made it this far, drop a like, leave a comment, and have a good one.